Hi, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. My name is William Bunny, and I'm part of the XRPI multicast group in our mass scale infrastructure group. I wish we could have met in person, but I'm very excited to show you what we've been working on here. We've been developing an SD multicast app, which will run on top of Crossworks. It was designed to help simplify your multicast network by displaying your streams. So far, we're supporting default multicast, profile zero and profile 14 or in the works. We have also implemented some machine reasoning rules to monitor your network and catch any issues and automatically close the loop by fixing any problems. Use cases are to obviously simplify your life and be able to visualize, monitor your network by showing you a health of your streams, notify you of any problems and automatically recover. You'll see this in more details as, as part of this demo. This is the topology that will be used as part of the demo. We will have IGMP receivers behind R3 and R4 for these channels here for ESPN, Fox, and ABC. So what we're going to do is we're going to inject a fault on router two towards R4. We will then switch to our machine reasoner and run the program and it'll catch and fix the problem on the fly. This will bring us back to our healthy and normal state without us, having a, without us having to do any work. So without further ado, let's go on to the demo. Today, On the left side, we can see that we have multiple VRS configured here and some channels under each one, like default contacts, red, yellow, and blue. For the purpose of this demo, we'll be focusing on the default contacts and the three channels that are under it. If I click on ESPN, we can see that we're to R3 and R4. Similarly for Fox, if I click on that, we can see that we're forwarding traffic from R1 to R3. Similarly for ABC, we're forwarding traffic from R1 to R4. We are doing this by using multiple KPIs and crossworks, and we're able to construct a tree from the multicast states on these routers. What we also have running in the background here is a machine reasoning engine that looks at all these rules displayed here. These are the pieces that is determining the health of our network. We're making sure that routers see each other as pin neighbors, make sure RPF information is correct, and making sure that we're forwarding the traffic where it's supposed to go based on IGMP receivers we have in our network. And we can see that right now everything is green and marked as resolved. So I'm going to go back to the topology view. To show a little bit more on the machine reasoning piece, I'm going to switch over to my terminal window, which brings me to router two, which you can see here on the left side. I'm going to introduce a fault here on interface 02, which is actually towards R4. Now, this was an actual scenario that we've had to debug before where there was an MTU mismatch between two interfaces. So let me go ahead and make this change on the interface. And what this is actually going to do is it's going to remove Gigabit Ethernet 02 as a forwarding interface because the M2s have, are mismatched and the PIM join won't be able to be processed. So we do have to wait until the next PIM cycle until this reflects. Now we see that it's gone. So let's go ahead and go back to our GUI. And the GUI is fetching data every 30 seconds or so. So let's just wait for a few seconds here, but we should be able to see R4 is turning red and our health is going down. And we can actually see that just happened. We can actually even click on R4 and actually see why. And we can see that our health went to zero and that's because of that MTU mismatch. And similarly for ABC, we also see that this router went down. So now if we go back to our machining machine rules, oh, we can see that it got updated and we actually it actually also cut that R2 is not forwarding the traffic to R4 because that interface is gone. And here we can see that R4 um, should should have an RPF towards R2 and the MTUs don't match. It's marked as unresolved. To show a little bit even more even more about our machining reasoning how powerful it is, I'm going to switch back to the terminal window. Here on the right side, I'm going to run our machine reasoning script which could be running continuously in the background, fetching data and getting it. And you will see that it's going to catch that problem and it's actually going to go ahead and fix itself. So we can see that for this source and group, um, fix the MTU configuration because it knew to do that. So I can actually go here 
and we can see that it actually went and applied that config and 002 is back as a forwarding interface. So now if we go back to the GUI, it's going to again take a few seconds here to update. And we can see here that R4 is back to green and traffic is again flowing. So I can click on R4 and we can see that everything is back to 100. And if we go back to our reasoning page, we should see everything is turned green and everything is resolved. So that's it for this demo. If you want to see more about what we're doing here with um, SD apps using Crossworks, you can go to this, this page here. And if you have any more questions or you want to see a little bit more of what we're doing, please feel free to drop us an email here. Thank you.